COVID-19 cases continue to be on the rise around the Wabash Valley. This comes as many schools are looking to return. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan explains what impact the pandemic is having on one local school district. Students here in Shoals are just a week away from a return to the classroom. Right now, that return looks to be pretty close to normal. School hallways are empty in Shoals, but classrooms are beginning to bustle with activity. Teachers getting ready to put last school year completely in the rear view mirror. It was insane. It was wild. It was crazy. Um, but we were here. You know, we got to come to school and be in person all day, every day. Um, I couldn't have asked for more than that. As teachers begin setting up classrooms, they're setting up desks a little closer than last year. Desks are three feet apart instead of six feet. We've had an increase in enrollment, so we're really having to put more desks in classrooms this year. So we're going to go with the three feet apart. And then again, if cases start rising, we may have to go back to a modified schedule. That modified schedule had half of a class attend in person one day and the other half the next. Shoals is allowing kids to wear masks. But right now, they're not required. If we start to monitor our cases and they start to rise, then we'll probably go back to, to really recommending and pushing hard the masks. Right now, things are looking good in Martin County, but school leaders plan to keep their eyes on a tighter focus. When making school decisions, we try to look at our school cases. But right now, it looks like teachers and students will have a fairly normal return to the classroom. We got the all clear, you know, we all started swarming in to get in here, to get everything straightened up, um, get it back to normal. Students are set to return to the classroom on August 5th. In Shoals, Gary Bryan, News 10.